Welcome back. Townsville City Council teamed up with emergency services to stage the largest simulated disaster ever conducted in the region. It's hoped the exercise will ensure adequate disaster management arrangements are in place for the city. A truck crash on Abbott Street, multiple cars destroyed and a train packed with frightened passengers. And now they're conducting an evacuation in Fairfield Waters of all the residents of Fairfield Waters due to a... a, a a chemical incident that occurred as well. Thankfully, this is just a test for emergency services in Townsville. Almost 200 response personnel fighting to save the lives of approximately 80 casualties. Not only will they have to deal with uh, maybe some small fires, but also some life rescues, um, extrication from, uh, from uh, cars, and also the hazardous materials components that's leaking out of a, a large container. From realistic role playing. <laughs> to heavily damaged vehicles. This may be an exercise, but it's what the emergency services are faced with every day. That's why Acting Assistant Commissioner Steve Barber says simulations like these are so vital, preparing crews before the real deal. Having a, a, a one coordinated approach ensures that they're all working together towards a, the one plan to ensure that uh, at the end of the day that the community is well protected. And more importantly, hopefully we're exercising the residents of Townsville about appropriate actions they should be taking if they're asked to evacuate in an emergency. Gabrielle Vecha, Win News.